Thank you. Well, maybe it's tax time. Maybe you followed already. Maybe you're just holding off. In tonight's Stretching Your Dollar, I have more on how you can save a few bucks by doing it yourself. Now, times have changed. Fewer of us file taxes the old-fashioned way on paper, but if you do, make sure your math is correct. Make sure you put your Social Security number on there correctly, and don't forget to sign your name. The IRS website has a link to free file. If you make under $69,000 a year, you get matched with a service that you just fill in the blanks. Sounds easy, right? I went to a CPA from GJM Limited in Maumee. Charles Hyde is in the tax business. The federal tax cuts from two years ago have helped all of us with the much higher standard deduction, which means you probably won't even have to itemize like the old days. Don't sit down to do your taxes without all your information. So collect all your tax reporting documents, W-2s, 1099s from the banks, um, 1098 for your mortgage interest, all your documentation for charitable donations. And then, first thing I would do is take all of my deductions, charitables, my state and local income tax, my mortgage interest, add all that up. And if that doesn't, if it's not greater than 24400 if you're married filing joint, stop. Don't waste your time doing that because you're going to take the standard deduction. Now don't forget to file your city taxes, whether you work in Toledo or Miami or wherever. And one more thing, it's possible the tax deadline will be moved back to summertime in response to the pandemic and its effects. And that's this week's Stretching Your Dollar. We'll be right back.